maintain it. Mouseport's an Astralis. Let's see what happens on the second map. New, this could be where Mouseport's closed the door and break a winning streak for Astralis. We've obviously been a fan of this map before. Yeah, they've got some history on it. Ow. They've known to play Nuke from time to time, and we'll see if tonight, this time is one of those times as Astralis still favored on the odds, despite how that first map went. Or to Util on Glaive and S-Tag. Chris with the kit, and outside they go. Mm, yes. Outside. I play, I think I've been there once. Astralis. Looking like they want to try and make the cross happen. Carrigan actually got dinked. Don't know how or where exactly, but it happened and we all saw it, didn't we? So you're all in on it now too. Dupree and Glaive opening up. Carrigan, despite being low, delivers the first kill in this round. And now he's got to go above and beyond that as it's just him and Bmas left. What do they do? What do they want to do? Because right now, the only thing that looks certain is death here at ramp. But BMAS is the one dishing that out in high supply. Two on three as the bomb goes down. And there's a late rotation in through the vents from S-Tag. So temporarily, it is a two on two on this lower site. And now S-Tag arrives. Carrigan's got that info, but he's not ready for a man fast in the window. However, Carrigan's left BMAS in a somewhat doable round, a 1v2. BMAS didn't get the kit, however, and he still hasn't. There we go. No, that's a flash. Hang on, mate. You still haven't got it. Go back again. BMAS. Hello! The kid's back there. He's looking for the kills. He's got no other choice at this point. He's wasted so much time trying to figure out what to do. And while he does deal with device, sadly, there's just no time in the round. Nice attempt from BMAS. And he actually gets all the kills. Not all the kids, though. That one blows away with the bomb and his life. That's a shame, right? Especially when you're, you're running, you hear the little click of picking up something. You think, oh, I've got it. Nope. Flash, not the kit. That's really not how he wanted it to go. And there was, there was a chance he could have done something done something there after taking the first, maybe dropping into the site and tapping the bomb. Could have forced a peek. Three for BMAS, not enough. Stralis on the board, 1-0 lead. Pretty late to buy, but he's got an AK. The one or two AKs in the round. We got some SMGs as well. Mouseball's forcing right back. Carrigan on the auto shotty. He looks to guarantee himself a, a stronger start into this map. That's going to be a lot safer. Sat in the hut. No one's really working in the lobby. Astralis, they're going to be defaulting outside a lot in this T side. I'm already ready for that. Frozen getting spammed, hiding behind the smoke. Vice is going to wrap him, sees him get away, but don't, it doesn't stop him. Rob's coming up from lower. Timing is everything. And there it is. AK down. Rob's back for more, but Dupree trades with the one other rifle that was there with a one shot headshot. Carrigan takes lobby, but S Tag's waiting for this. He's just left position. Carrigan makes noise, and S Tag now knows going above. Or well, Carrigan waits below. He went above, but S Tag, well, we know where he went beyond. Gets the frag. Leaves us in a four on two. Bemis and Frozen. Good luck, buddy O's. Trying to clear someone from this T roof is horrible as well. Like, they could be anywhere. Any angle. And, like, no one even knows the angles up here. Like, you pretend like you do, but no one really knows. Because how often does this fight ever happen? Frozen knows, though. I always said if there was one guy who knew, it would <laughs> be Frozen. Okay, man. Well. Pander alert. So yeah, you're right, but also not at the same time. Glaive, he, he can sense them there towards these T spawn, saving their weapons. Mouse sports are going to concede a second round two for Astralis. Bluey. Oh. All right. Well, see ya. There was an attempt, but ultimately, like I said, Astralis win the round. Inferno will be where this gets decided. I can just feel it in my plums. Yeah, we'll just let that one hang out to dry for a moment. You'll now. let your plums out to dry, huh? <laughs> Magisk, look at him go. 
Look at the plums on this man. Just running the gauntlet, running down to secret. Frozen actually spammed to death by device. And this is where Astralis. I'm gonna get a bit tricky with it. In the vent, there's a man going by the name of B Mass. But he is B No Mass here as he gets dropped in the head to head. Chris J, auto shotgun, a match made in heaven. Takes down the first, but surely he can't get any more. That nade might just oh. finish the job, but indeed it does. Carrigan now, CZ. But does he see B? Not from where he's hidden right now. Oh, I'm gonna cross into this oh side. No one's boy. actually covering Glaive and Carrigan. You can smell it. You can smell that bomb going down. Ooh dear, Glaive not. Oh, no. Glaive's gonna be like, how is he there? Guys, Astralis, what's happened since I left this team? And down he goes. Carrigan tapping the bomb, trying to bait peaks. They're running around to decon. They're realizing um, the gravity of this situation. Is he just sticking it? Oh, they're all panicking. Carrigan, another. Surely doesn't get any more, but there's the spam. Oh. Luckily enough, Magis does come in to save the day. My God. You saw the big Ooh. bulging brain on Carrigan's shoulders there, pulsing out of control as he tried to navigate that 1v4. And he comes pretty damn close, all things considered. Yeah, I thought you said, I thought he was Danish. You said he's bulging. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. Big Belgian brain. Big Belgian brain. Yeah, you got to be happy with that if you're Carrigan, right? Uh, okay, what color is this, Harry? That's green, Hugo. Green. Okay. No, no it's turquoise. Like a, it's like a lime turquoise. <laughs> like, it's an offset green. Yeah, you got to be happy for that round if you're Carrigan, right? You, you put up a good, a good amount of damage. You scare Astralis. But this is the buy. This is the rifle round. Frozen watching the smoke. Oh, okay. That's a dangerous spamming first. No matter what side you're on, you spam first. The others can see your traces, and they're going to trace back. Frozen turns around. Oh, bad timing. He gets the dink, but nothing more. Dupree with an opener into main. Does that tempt Astralis towards A? Chris is in B right now, watching Secret with the AWP. Oh, Carrigan falls off. And device, the opener to A. Two more players here. Chris is clearing lower and he's done that. Glaive gone. Now the bomb out the door. There's a player in heaven and another on the site. Yeah, device holding heaven though. Gets damage onto Rops. Doesn't get away with the kill. And that there saw S tag just get deleted. B mass waiting at the hut. And it's left onto Dupree. 9 HP. 1v3. He's all right. Dupree time. Let's go, Dupree. Knows where one is, but is that enough? Back to outside, and he quickly dodges the chance of giving up the trade. He's navigating this very, very well, but it's the lack of knowledge as the whereabouts as to where on earth Chris J is. Yeah, but I mean, I, as soon as Bemis finds his way over here behind this vent, it gets exponentially harder. Meanwhile, Chris is clearing the lobby. He's pushing outside. He's, you know what? You want to think about going towards heaven? I'll send you there. Or my boy Bemis will. First round on the board for Mouse Sports. Yeah, all right. So let's settle this once and for all. I agree with green. If it's green, type, and this can be very simple, okay? If it's green, all you've got to do is type one in chat. If it's turquoise, you can type two. And if you just want to spam numbers, you can type anything else. As long Odds, as it's not good one luck. or two. <laughs> yeah, the else part. Trace unleashing the matrix now. Numbers flying across the screen. <laughs> just flying down the screen. Oh, guys, they're hacking the Twitch chat. We need more moderators on the line. More mods. Quick, land them all in. Go, go. <laughs> well, we were the reckoning of Twitch chat that day. And what a day it was. Yep. People getting banned left, right, and center. There's just not enough love shown to mods, and I feel like you guys have plenty of nice things to say about them. I know you don't want to, but whatever. Slow round here. Slow. There she goes. Flash is good. Chris is fully blind, but they've run by Frozen, who just collects his free kill, and he's got another stamp for another one. Would you believe it? Astralis is just trying to bleed anything they can from this round. Any kill. Still Dupree showing us. What's he looking at? And we see Dupree. Dupree! Oh, he was staring at the wall. I think he wanted us to read the sign. But Dupree, man. You got to read the room here. This is a four on five. You've only got pistols and... 
Frozen, he's still hungry for more. Now, is his appetite going to get the better of him here? 20 seconds. They're already in main, and now it's a bit weird because that orb going to chime out. There's oh. a kill for Magisk. Black, What's course. gonna happen in this round? Not much more can happen from this point onwards. Astralis, it's like Device is just begging for death and luckily enough, Carrigan will happily oblige. Two on the board for Maus, a slow pistol crawl for Astralis where they use all the time. They're not even going for a bomb plant. They would just, I, they would, yeah, that's pretty <laughs> much it. So, Lead in the round, man, looking for anything. Any chance, any kill. Waste the utility of mouse spores. Man just gets one, right? Frozen with no head armor. He feels the pain of the Glock. Uh, swiftly traded in the round, kept under control by mouse spores, as it should be. There are only two deagles there. They shouldn't have been able to get all too much done, but this is it. It's the chance. The rifle's out. S-tag. Oh, he doesn't get down the vent. He's going to cross in a second time around. And he actually drops with this barrel seen. They know what to expect. Player in B. And so Robs is patrolling the lobby, the hallway. Looking for anything or anyone. A test tag on 10 health. And so he's not really in a rush to make, an, uh, to make a move, rather. Drana's going back outside late. They know the mouse balls have dropped bees. As a result, the yard control might be easier than usual. And it seems to be Chris is watching the cross from back of CT. He can easily be smoked off here. And he's also got ramp on a timing as well. So this is a lot of uh, work for Chris to do. And when you're up against a team like Astralis, you see the outside smokes, you get scared of a ramp play because are they actually crossing behind the smokes? That's the question. Frozen smoked off, can't help. Chris gives up ramp. A gamble with the B-bomb site. Carrigan pushing lobby, good timing. Glaive has looked away. Oh, he just sees the feet as well. This info is mouse sports and Glaive doesn't know what's about to hit him. He swings back in. Carrigan, oh dear, he needs this kill. He can't afford to die, but Glaive has got him. Somehow, some way, b needs to trade, but Glaive sneaks out of the lobby. Back to T-spawn. Astralis on B. s has been here a while, so is Rops, and he's going to drop the bomb. Two for Rops. One more to find, but Dupree's there with a the trade, and this is all over the place. Oh my goodness, what a disaster in the lobby otherwise. Chris J takes an op shot from ramp. A little bit of damage onto himself. Dodges a grenade and... Well, for him, it's going to be Bemis. It helps inside a decon. That's going to give them an opening in this round. Dupree and Glaive left alive. Ooh. And things have started to dwindle. Just into Bemis' hands. He's going to peek the decon door and Dupree is feeling himself. Feeling myself. Like Beyonce level feels. Yeah, b tried to bait a shot from him by jiggling the door with his gun out after he killed Magis on the site, but, B uh, but Dupree didn't fall for it. This is unreal. The pre-fire from Glaive, he knows that's his only way out. Immediate headshot or bust. And then the fact that he gets away without b trading in the hut as well is ridiculous. Like, what a sneaky move from Glaive. Never one you can count on or account for. But he's kept Astralis on for. Mouse board's broken. Oh, Rob's tried to push uh, Ramp. All the Mauers are trying to push. Well, this round's over, so. Anyway, um, Harry, what's up, dog? Not much, man. I had a little think about it there. I see that. Yeah. You look mildly <laughs> troubled. I just... Yeah, man. You know, there's. Just, I'm just like watching this game, right? There's like these guys called Astralis. Um, You're like a, a lily pad in the water by yourself. Yeah, man. That's that's what it feels like. Oh, ouch. Man, like, they, they try and go for that push, you know, and they try and change the pace. And Astralis, they just show, like, this is what we've been doing a lot of the time is just waiting for you to do exactly this. That's not something Mouse Sports can really attempt again. Oh, here we are. See these fan cams for just a second. I think the man has been in his unicorn costume for about two or three days with us now. So, not gonna preach about hygiene up here, but might be about time. Oh, through the door with the flash, b caught in the open. S-Tag running him down with a Mac 10 even thinks Dupree, but the job is done. And mouse boards are out. They want nothing to do with this. Already Chris has dropped out of the heaven, wrapping main. Are they just going to straight up save? Smoke spams, nothing connecting. Our spots are begging for a kill so they can actually try and give this a go. The warbang shot is getting very close for Chris, but 
Yeah, not going to connect. And Astralis live to fight another day. A bomb plant at a round one. Mousebots are going to try and save. Yeah. You think there's a world, okay, Rops can get a kill. Maybe Chris somehow miraculously spams someone through the mini garage. But instead, we'll save. And we'll see another 20 seconds of our lives. And their lives. It's all going to transpire right here. If you blink, you miss it. And this is just Astralis going through the motions, right? On, on both these teams, at least in recent history, they've been T-sided on a map like Nuke, which is impressive. But I, I feel like this game has been so T-sided online. We see these heavy 9-6 halves all the time. And I also feel, you know, if, if Astralis get up to 10, is that when we contact League Ops and say, hey, you know what? Second half, just scratch that. We're going to go ahead and go to Inferno. I don't know, Trace. Maybe, maybe you want to reach out to them and see what the rules are on that. Yeah, let me do that. Hold on, I'll send him a message right now. S tag on the org on the T side. We've seen this before. Very weird. On the lobby lurk. Chris has come ramp to help out. Rops can drop B or they can just swap positions. He smokes to come down and Astralis have snuck behind them. Frozen has heard nothing from the garage. So he doesn't actually know for sure. And that's always the worry with Astralis or with anyone really sneaking behind these smokes. You never know. Now some first steps getting made. The info for Mouseboard's coming in late. Astralis, if they want, they can plan right now. There's no one to stop them. Mousebots are aware they've lost B. They're just simply setting up for a retake and looking for a lurk. There is still one in the lobby. That won't be apparent until later. Device holding this down, and he's got the shot. Chris peeks into it. Molly in the vent. Rops grabs the orb. Do Mousebots want to give this a go? They've got no kit. Yeah, they also left money so they could buy next round anyway. So I feel like they were already leaning towards just not really going for this round if the B play came in. Lo and behold, the B play came in, and so they're not going for the round. It's kind of self uh self answering question there it's a automated question almost automated yeah man well that's what i do right i take the liberty of automating my questions i give you the answer then i ask the question interesting like, yeah it works huh but did they get away with these guns that's the big question the mp9s don't matter so much right they can be like bodyguards to these rifles Here we go. Something that Astralis did in that round there that was pretty cool is they opened up the double doors down on B. They had someone spam the ramp with an AK and then that baited Chris J to taking a peek that Device was already staring at. You saw the spam come in there at the beginning of this replay. And then when Chris J is like, I can take on a rifle player easy. As he swings out, he realizes the error of his ways. And it was all a sneaky little trap set by Astralis and Device. Well, I don't know about you guys, but Mouseports look like they're asleep. So make sure that you're all wide awake to watch this. Yeah, Astralis have just been playing this masterfully, right? Just forcing saves left, right, and center. Yeah, meanwhile, James Sports, they've been saving quite a bit. Back to back rounds. And even then, the, the saving of money still continues. They have enough to buy next round thanks to these saves, and they've still got a pretty decent investment here, albeit lacking utility. Astralis, they look like they want to crunch A with matches coming in on the main lurk. As tag, entering out the hut. There's a player above him. He sees the feet. Oh, boy. Carrigan. He doesn't know how close to death he is. He could even get spammed. S tag's going to clear it looking right up, and that could be Carrigan's nightmare. S tag checking the rafters above. His barrel might stick out, but Carrigan's got the kill. Quickly falls off Glaive. Now trying to pounce as well. He will. Dupree with another opener into the A site. BMAS is dead in the water, and Frozen could get smoked off here. Dupree has yet to clear the close main position. Chris in the vent making noise, trying to bait them in. Frozen with one. He doubles down. Bomb drop. Chris drops as well. He won't stick around on the ladder, and Rops won't stick in this round at all. Device getting caught with his back turned. Magis spams Frozen through the smoke, and Chris in the vent from earlier has gone on the long wrap round. Does Magis know? 
Chris isn't being discreet about it. And now Magisk has heard the information. Oh, Chris as well is playing the timing game. Magisk was kind of relying on the peak there. Now he's got to barrel into the site to get this bomb down. Plant's going to come in with just enough time left. He's near the spam spot, but Chris going to try and feign getting up on top of the heart. Hops down, Magisk. Tucked away, hidden. Can't see a thing on either side. I don't like this. Chris is terrified. How on earth are you going to approach this? Magis swinging oh. for the peak, and Chris, he plays it patiently, and his patience is rewarded. It's three on the board for Mouse Sports. They do have an answer in that round there. The attempt at the A play falls short for Astralis. Still plenty of money, right? Device, yeah. S Tag, and Dupree, and Magis. In fact, they've been very, very smart with how they've invested here. And they've now got loads of cash. But, you know, okay, oh, this replay, man. Mm, yeah, I do like this. This is a different spice of life right here. Different flavor, if you will. Really get down to the point. And I like that. I respect that. Yeah. No, but I, I, sorry, Hugo. I just, I, I feel like I should mention uh, there is a little bit of a timeout coming in. Does look like Astralis have called that. Uh, on the other side, when I look at the utility damage or even the enemy's flash or like the efficiency of that over there on the side of Mouse Sports, we're looking at three players without any of it on your CT side of nuke. And that cannot be the answer. If you're just trying to battle them at the ramparts, use some things to your advantage. Yeah, Mouse haven't been like trying to take out side control, right? On the low money rounds, they've had deagles behind red, but you know, a lot of teams like Complexity, for example, or even Astralis at times, will just throw deep util, flash players to red, set the AWP up, try and, you know, try and get aggressive. That's to, usually stop these fast plays. The problem with Astralis is they don't rush outside when they default towards it. They go there after 30 seconds and throw delayed smokes. That accomplishes two things. One, denying the thing that I just said. And two, stopping those spawn molotovs people throw on the red box to disrupt the wall of smokes. Right now though, Miles find a third off the back of Frozen with a 3K and Chris with a clutch. Nothing worse than getting peaked while you jump. Chris almost hits a bad timing where he jumps on top of that box by hut and gets peaked, but just lands it in time. These are those late smokes for Astralis coming down at 128. And Rob says B. He's in secret right now with one of these two orbs. It does seem like just map dependent right now for mouse sports, right? Chris and Rob's orping on Nuke, Carrigan on Inferno and Dust. Those are the maps on the top of my head that we've seen from mouse sports. Rosen smoked off again, has to give it up, has to respect the utility and goes back towards CT. Astralis creepy crawl across as usual, giving away no info and not letting Mouseports know where they are. Deep smoke, they're going to go through this. They're not going to run B. Magis does, but Robs is here and he can alert whether players are coming or not. He gets one, falls off, and that's honestly enough for Astralis. They probably won't go down there after that. Crossing past main with the smoke. Frozen spotted, leaving hell. S tag back in the hut, looking for that entry onto Carrigan just above him again. Frozen's trying to get the info outside, but he does get spotted. And oh boy, the orb's coming back for Chris. Slowly but surely ascending into heaven and Frozen trying to put them back where they belong. Here he is with one, but Dupree trades it. S tag with a great flurry into this A site. He's in with three. And suddenly it went from looking dire for Astralis to a one round as this bomb now looks to go down. Chris J left in the clutch, not going to be able to deny that plant. Rerouting over into main. Both players were looking at heaven. No one even considering main just yet, but S Tag tucking himself in the site. He can afford that privilege, privilege of only watching the heaven area. Chris, what's he going to do? How on earth do you want to navigate this one? He's got to do it quietly. It's not like he can scope and walk all the way in from mini. It's obviously too much opposition. He's going to see S Tag elects to go for the no scope. Not much of a choice there, but to go for that. And S Tag and company of Astralis will be picking up another round. That'd be eight on the board for him. Commanding T side at the very least. S Tag, you must have got a timing up the hut or something because he just runs out and decimates three all while Frozen's attention is on heaven. Well, you know you can hear those silent jumps. And so while Astralis are climbing up the heaven roof, I imagine Chris is coming to Frozen. They're coming, two of them in heaven. And so Mouseboss is scared of that top position. And S Tag just gets some, some great entries into A that really allows that plant to get uh, go down for Astralis. Device back with the orb towards door. Won't be hanging around for long with the mollies down. 
Well, speaking of AWPs, Chris holding his from heaven. He's going to have a shot on the outside player. He finds just that. Majisk is down. And finally, an advantage here for Mouseports in this round. He's going to reposition himself. But here comes the brunt of the hit, or at least some grenades used over here towards the ramp. And Astralis want to pressure Rops, who's going to go ahead and give it up. And they want to chase him, too. Hey, you got an op? Guess what? We'll be taking that from you. Maybe. Oh, dear. Rops is not in a good spot. They are all around him. Not going to be able to land it. And so they just charge him down. The B site now belongs to Astralis. They put the Danish flag in. That's it. Yeah, they've declared this territory as their own. Owls. What are they going to do? They're conflicted. It's a four on four. They definitely have a chance, especially with Glaive tagged up. They're waiting initially for everyone to get into position, hoping that Astralis gives something over, but they haven't yet. Doors swing wide, and Carrigan does get one before getting traded. But Chris keeps it in the advantage of Maus. Frozen, walking Whoa. to his death, and S Tag still putting up numbers. Device helps him out and is there to see it through to the very, very end. Astralis, they get nine. Damn, dude, just great post plants there. S tag, I don't know how he gets away with so much from the door, just swinging it open and shut, jiggling, peeking those holes. Carrigan able to put up one, but no one else from the door, and Device just covers the, from the window side as well. Just great for Astralis. They're looking very comfortable here on Nuke. Nine to three. Kind of what we expected here on this T-side. Mouseports without a lot of answers, but with a lot of saves. That being said, still no cash here. It's got to be pistols. d armor. Back to the outside cross. Common to C. Carrigan behind red. No one realizes. No one knows. And they're not even looking. Devices turn towards main. Glaive might check this for him. Chris is going to flash when they hear info. Oh, dear. That's now the info's there. Chris lining up the flash is popped. It's good. And oh. Carrigan's going to get away with one. That's more than you can ask for with four outside. Matt just trades, but Frozen in the meantime finds another. And so now, somehow, Mouse Spots, well, they can't retrieve these guns. They are a man up. Yeah, but look at Chris, man. He's just trapped, isn't he? What's he going to be able to do? Oh, look at him. Go. Oh. Oh. That's the end of that. Oh. Oh, Glaive just about gets it back under control. I didn't love it. Didn't like it, but Glaive. He's showing us he is the man with the plan. Puts up a double. And now suddenly, Bimas and Frozen in the A-site. Frozen in time. As Astralis pump the brakes again. They wait. And they wait. And then they wait some more. And still even plenty of time. Should they want to go the other way? I mean, just already checked out secret. It's still a little quick Ooh. inspection, but it's Glaive all in. Latex gloves on, and he's clearing out the site methodically. Just frozen. One on three with a deagle. No kit. 77 HP. No head armor. No weapon. AKs in deep yard if he wants them. And I think there's a... No, that'll work. Oh. That was pretty cool. Let's see if he can do it again. Mollied off there inside of the mini garage. And that's going to thwart any sort of angle he wants to fight on the S-Tag. He's got to get out there at some point. The flashing come through and the swing from Majisk back silo. A tenth on the board for Astralis. I'm going to go ahead and call League Ops real quick, as we said. <laughs> this is clinical, man. Like Surgical, even. Yeah. They've been playing some operation. Their hands are steady as ever. And the hands they're dealing with the mouse boards. Ooh. House always wins. But not how sports, they don't always win. As they're getting a bit of a stern reminder of here on Nuke. Chris J, back on his big old green gun here. Over at ramp. Outside smokes are in, frozen. Can't really do anything now outside. He's calling that they could be making their way across. And lo and behold, he's pretty right in that assumption they are. Tiptoeing into secret. Now, Chris, he's, he's decided, guys, what if we just stopped sitting around and took some damn initiative? And that's what he does. He pushes into lobby. He gets the info. The lobby is clear. There's nobody here. And so I would imagine that maybe we see some rotations down into this B site, but they're not coming. Like, Mouse, they've got lobby. The only thing they don't know about is outside. 
So now they will send a man down. Carrigan arriving, but yeah, not the best time for Carrigan to make his appearance. Glaive shortly there deletes him. And now this B site looking to get tested again for the side of Maus. They rotate somebody Ooh. down. It's Chris J running the gauntlet. And when I say running, I mean like he has got his running shoes on. Whoop, no scope and it lands, but Magis lives to tell the tale. That would have been sick. That would have been Chris J starting something magical, but instead it might be the beginning of the end as Maus Sports have no choice wow. but to save. And even then their numbers dwindling as they're picked off one by one by something out of a horror film. Device, the scariest villain of them all here with this AWP does get dealt with by Robs. Yeah, Mouseports haven't felt like any need to try and battle Astralis outside and try and win these like fights when Astralis cross four down secret or towards garage. And that's what it's often been, just S-Tag and Lobby and four outside for Astralis. But as a result, Mouseports are attempting to retake and, and play into this lower site, but they just haven't got position. They haven't got early rotates B. When they do, they often lose it early. And Chris, he, he feels the need to do something. Otherwise, Mouseports save. The second he dies, Mouseports save because they've got nothing else to show for it. So low are these players. Glaive trying to flash Rops out. He's done that. Rops has moved over. And oh boy. Up close with the orb. Looking the wrong way. Glaive has got him, but the bomb takes him down. Both of them were dead regardless. I was wondering with them being so low. But yeah, everyone dies. No one lives to tell the tale. But it doesn't mean the tale will be forgotten. It's 11 to 3. It's a dominant half. And it's everything that Astralis wanted and more after getting beaten on Mouse Sports map pick. That third is Inferno. And boy, Astralis, they're trying to get us there and they're trying to do it fast. Talking of fast, yeah. though. Look at that pace. S tag straight in the vents. Oh, you guys want to worry about B? Well, now you really got to worry about B. But he's the only guy to go fast. So now Astralis pump the brakes, go back to this slow style of play. Rops could catch a timing here. He's just seen S-Tag go back into the vent. And S-Tag's got no idea. Absolutely none. Blindsided by Rops. Man advantage taken for Maus as they try and bail themselves out of this half at the final hurdle. Looking for a fourth. Best of the gang are moving in ramp side. And no one's here for Maus. Ramp is free. Astralis are like, yeah, man, we'll take that. We'll take ramp. We lose two, but we get ramp. That's cool. Rops here. He hears the footsteps. He knows that by giving up his position, they could be here. And they are. And Rops in with a second before getting traded. This round is all over the place. Glaive is in hell while Magisk is still down here at B trying to keep bodies here. What's Glaive's master plan? He's moving up over towards heaven. They lose Magisk though. And with that death, the bomb as well. So disaster strikes at this B site for Astralis. And there's no time to be sneaking. Glaive will have to run at some point, and there it is. Now the footsteps alert everything, and Mouse Sports in a four on one, just about finishing the job. There's one for Glaive. He's doubled down. 15 seconds. They're here to stop the plant, but he's got to drop dark if he wants to get that bomb back under his control. Bmas won't let him. Pressure immediately put on in the two on one. And Astralis, despite that last round, go 11 to four up. Brilliant stuff on their T side, and now they've just got to close it out. Five separate them from Inferno. Mouse Sports have one hell of a comeback on the cards. We'll see if they can do it after the break. I 
I came up from a small town, no one hit me up. Now they wanna be my friend. Everybody play pretend. But now pulling up in a Bentley. Bentley. There really ain't shit you can tell me. What? I just wish somebody would help me. Help me. This lifestyle is not healthy. I could I could buy you anything, anything on your everything, everything buy you anything, anything on your everything. She's a god girl, welcome to my god's world. Fell in love with the diamonds and pearls. Yeah, we do what we want when we want it. Sex faith with the new Saint Laurent. Party, party too lit, get kicked out. All alone, it's the only way to live now. Yeah, we do what we want when we want it. Do anything that you want. I could buy you anything, anything on your everything, everything. Buy you anything, anything on your everything, everything. Yeah, I could buy you anything, anything on your everything, everything. Buy you anything, anything. Everything I could buy you anything, anything on your everything, everything on you anything, anything on your I fell on top of the world, I fell on top of the world right now. I fell on top of the world, I fell on top of the world right now. I always wanted the world, I wanna conquer the world right now. Shots and the man with the plot and we only go bombs away And no one protecting my mind is a weapon That's why I'm a diamond <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's a dark scene here. <laughs> and as you can tell, Mouse Sports, well, it's kind of grim where they are, too. 11 to 4 after the first half on a T side from Astralis. What a run. This is the SL Pro League Season 12. You're watching it with Harry Hugo and myself. Hi, I'm Trace. And you're probably wondering how I got here. Well, let me tell you a little story about the little Mouse Sports that could. You see, Chris J and Kerrigan came together. They forged an alliance that ultimately led them down to Ramp Room. And then one day, Big Bad Rops. Try to throw a smoke into big main. And then suddenly, well, from atop the hut, there was this very nasty man. And Chris said, no, 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 nasty man. And he protected the younglings in his team. And boy, oh boy, S tag and device, they didn't know what hit them. And that there is the story of the little mouse sports that could. Yes, the little mouse sports that could. It picked up the one big round with the little bitty guns. Narrated by Hugo Byron. <laughs> yeah, you can buy the audiobook somewhere, I'm sure. This is interesting, though. Mouse winning a pistol, there's there's a chance, you know? Hugo, I don't wanna... When are you going to start audiobooks? Is your. Yeah, like, audio... and what are you going to read? I don't what know. Are you going to write, you you write your own books? No, that no, would be no, cool. No. I, yeah, no. You give me a book, I'll read it. Do you? Look at that. Look you at will this. read me a book if I buy you a book. Uh, it depends on the length. Yeah, you got to pay me, though. Wait, hang on. What kind of this deal keeps is, on this developing? Worse and worse by the second. First of all, I don't want you to read me anything. Secondly, I think I can read myself. <laughs> you and think, do you? Thirdly, your price is outrageous. I'm sure <laughs> someone will price match that around here. If you price match that, let us know. You go. What were you looking at for your book reading charge? Your compensation, if you will. Look, I don't. I don't discuss 20, that. 30, Talk to my age heroes. Yeah, I'm right here. I, hold on, we'll get him on the line. <laughs> hey, it's, it's me, Hugo's agent. <laughs> Why is this the radio? Told you? <laughs> I'm calling in from outer space. Uh, the ISS, the International Trace Station, over. Oh. Hugo, man, you got anything to say to him? Ah, dude, he knows what he's doing. Do I, though? I mean, <laughs> do I, though? <laughs> No oh, well, problem, agent. Oh, no, device. He's in the one spot oh, that no one no. ever checks. And, of course, he's allowed oh. to run rampant. Device. He can't spell rampant without ramp, and that's where he sits right now, doubling up. The double from device is a scary thing indeed, but luckily enough, Chris J often is the voice of reason. Not going to come in with one. Device now. 
trying to be the voice of Raisin and dry this round out. But BMAS gets the better of him. And suddenly, Glaive and Magis, they're in this two on three, this tricky little situation. Magis has a deeg, but he's also smoked off. Yeah, great stuff from Device, but this is looking less and less likely by the second. It's all on Magis, and he gets domed, tagged by the first, slowed down, and finished off. Glaive is above A. It's like, guys, where even is this? Is it A or B? <laughs> <laughs> well, now they're about to figure it out the hard way. The bomb has been planted way as the bomb. Well, it's been planted down on B. Glaive Way. looking to save. This, uh, you know, this is an, a very interesting world we're in right now. Can Mouseboard's 2-0 You wouldn't say this is an interesting world we're in. I mean, not this specific round or this moment in time, but... Okay. Uh, no, no, I can give you that. I can give you that. Okay. 6 I to 11. Misunderstood that. You know, yeah. for when I contact the lawyers later, I have to make sure everything is... Transcripted out perfectly, so, Hugo. I mean, what is it about raisins again? You know what? With you two, you guys are pretty much pruned up. So with that said, let's take a quick look at here at how many folks did not check for Deve. Yeah, it happens all the total. time. Uh, then uh, so, uh, this this box hiding behind it used to be like a go-to check back in the old. That was boot. the normal like, place yeah, to play. Yeah, and like you you wouldn't believe it. Like if there was no one there, it's like well then you had ramp pretty much. That was like how it felt like, or they were hell, but. You know, like, usually you'd be there. And now, in this iteration of Nuke, and by the way, do this in your pugs. If you really, really want to be a rat, and everyone wants to be a rat, because they're just, they're such a cool animal. I think Chuck E. Cheese um, went out of business, bro. They're like the cockroaches of mammals. Um, nice. The, the cool thing about being a rat, no, wait, the cool thing about that spot, rather, <laughs> is uh, that when you're there, no one ever looks for some reason. And so, so often, you can just sit behind that box. You yeah. do realize what you're doing, though. You draw an attention to the fact that no one checks this box. Makes everyone. That's cool, check dude. I'll box. change the meta. Right? Nobody care. can hear us but us, so it's fine. Okay. Oh, I always forget that. Dupree, look at him. He's got a taser. Race, get ready. He's got a taser. He's got a taser. The Dupree laser, ready ah! to go. And there it is, Chris J on the receiving end. <laughs> and the sound effects provided by Mr. Saranthus and the oh. Deagle. In with another Dupree, putting on uh -oh. quite the show. Device. He kills Carrigan. And Carrigan, in his dying breath, has helped the Danes out by throwing the bomb down the vents. Oh, dear. Help me. Oh, no. Frozen how it? Oh, oh no, he's got you. it. Frozen is absolutely stark it. raving mad. He just goes down the vent. He chases for the bomb. He's got it back under control. What is happening? I couldn't tell you, but it's Rops and it's Frozen in a two on four. And Rops is like, I'll go down the vent again and I'll get the better of them. And he does get the better of S-Tag, but that wasn't the man who killed Carrigan. So surely that means there's another device. Up and down the ladder he goes. This is a weird one. Rops is trying to watch it, but he doesn't. He's very unsettled by device just oh. up and down the vent up and oh. down up and down and here comes the drop into the site rops is to flick back device is gone and it's all left on to magis get a 1v1 versus rops it's chaos it's madness but rops is here to see us through right to the very end holy smokes <laughs> why has it happened like that it looked like a game of vents and ladders I, I'm lost. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't know what to make of that. That's crazy. Great try from Dupree. Putting up to... Oh, my device. Like, yeah, that's a shame. It gets stolen out from below him on the jiggle. S-Tag dies for the cause. Device gets some really close shots on the ladder when Rops is here. You see the wall painted with bullets. Device just couldn't hit it. He was relying on the gods, relying on the RNG on the ladder. And now we're back into the action as quick as we like. Nice nade. Brave, big brain, big throwing arm, lobs it into the lobby and gets two down to 60. Frozen, if he goes through this smoke, he is dead in the water. No, he's not. I take it all back. I never said a thing. Frozen, yeah, right. immediate we all headshot you. onto Glaive through the uh, through the smoke. Now into A. Madge has got to anchor this site well. He's got to spray. Dupree's helped him out. They're both still standing. Dupree with oh another, and it's fallen apart for Mouseboards. Chris is out of there with the bomb in tow. Frozen's outside. He could go low, but... They don't have the ramp room yet, and that's still being watched. So there's no free entry towards B for that bomb. Frozen trying to carve a path outside, but he's not getting given many fights. Yeah, everything was looking real, real, real good for Mouse Sports up to that point. So perhaps they can piece it together here in the latter stages of this round. Chris, he gets the kill on ramp, starts to move himself into lower. He does have the bomb, so that does make sense. 
B is theirs. This is a, a really doable round for Mouse Sports if Astralis don't play things very smart. Device, he has him trapped behind this site, but Chris can't leave as a result. The bomb's planted for him. He faked it in case they had decon. There's the big oh. device. Sculp remover. It's onto Frozen. Yeah, this is a pretty tall order for Frozen, but we've seen him win rounds like it before. Mad just makes noise in the vent, trying to draw his attention away from Secret. Frozen playing the hiding oh, game, baby. playing the timing game, and he's found himself in a pretty good spot. He oh, lets them no. all cross, and Frozen, oh, you boy. tricky, tricky man, coming in, takes them off the bomb. Surprise! They don't know where he is, and Frozen's in with another. It's all left onto Device, and there's just no time. That is an absolutely huge... Huge round from Frozen. Eight on the board for Mouse, and he saves the day again. And let's talk a little about the, not only what Frozen did right there, but his positioning, you know, the trigger discipline. He could have certainly went for that so much sooner, but he plays it down to perfection, getting the second kill on Dupree. Even has the Molotov should he need it, but he needed to use that spray even more, which I encourage you to do, ladies and gentlemen. Check Absolutely. and mate. That is unreal. I've not seen a clutch like that in a while. Frozen, huge brain. Even Chris is so yeah, man. Even <laughs> Chris is like a, oh, Chris boy. is like a thousand books behind him. And even if he read every single one of them, he wouldn't have been able to, you know, like piece together that round in the way that Frozen just did. That is mind blowing. The fact okay, that Magis yes. even fakes the vent as well and goes back up. Frozen lets him drop again, not even worried about the fact that he could just be swung by Magis. He lets him go past into B. Another follows. And they all come tumbling down. Mouse Sports, they don't want to give this one up, do they? They've had some very close rounds from that eco with device and events in a four on two. The Mouse Sports recover thanks to Rops to a one on three by Frozen in the B bomb site. They have been clutching their way, clutching at the straws and keeping this game going. Astralis yet to field around in this second half. We are early days, but the Danes Back on pistols. Flash for the ramp room. Estai can go in if he wants. It's a good flash. Estai takes a peek, does some damage, but now he's trapped to the left side. They've got him sandwiched. Nade does even more. Uh oh. Estai, the barbarians are at the gate, and he's going to uh, have to just tuck himself in for the long haul. Now they do spare Estai. So shout out one time to Mouse Sports to show in some love. Hey. Well, that new guy, but Ooh. Dupree, he doesn't want to reciprocate. Oh. Comes in with a kill. There's the refrag from Frozen, and Carrigan now splits main. Magis bested, and this is all back under control. Device with the orb likely just wants to think about saving at this point in oh, time. Yeah. He's not even going for it. He's going back to CT. Device, he's trying to go back to where he, uh, where he spawned. Yeah, where he came from, essentially, is what you're trying to say. Yeah. But ultimately, still lands a shot onto Carrigan. Now, the round is over. Mouse Sports very, very low. Unless S tag flies up the vents, gets some ninja defuse. Not gonna say I got one last night in the North American matchmaking from Europe, but I did. So, anyway, shout out to Hugo. Shout out you, Trace. Nah, man, shout yourself out. <laughs> Warp saved here for Astralis, but again, Mouse Sports are building. Five in a row. TikTok I'm comes the clock. To 11. And speaking of the clock, I think we, yeah, we did just pass. So the date was right. It was the 911. And now it's 912. But let's see if Astralis can put another one up too. I think 912 is like the new default that Astralis are trying to run when they play Counter Strike. 912? <laughs> yeah. yeah. 9A, 1B, 2 outside. Uh, 9 ramp. One upper. <laughs> you try and go ramp, and it's just... <laughs> you just can't, man. You can't get through that. Glaive, he can't get through this. They're smoked off outside, but he sees the Glaive. Counting footsteps as they run by. That's a oh, weird yeah. situation for Rops to find himself in. Dupree arrives fast on the scene, but he's got backup. Magisk called in to mop this one up when all goes wrong. Magisk not able to put any more up, but there is still another man in the vents. Glaive has watched his teammates perish around him and now emerges in the back line. Beamass caught, oh. but he somehow lives to fight another day. Mate. 
Looking for the players up in the window. Ooh. BMAS has dropped one, and now we're into this two-on-two. -two. It gets now very finicky, and it's all about hitting these timings. Coming down the vent is Device, oh. but he gets bested. And this was a two-on-four. Now it falls onto Chris J to keep the clutches rolling in for Mouse Sports. Smoke down. Glaive taps the bomb, waits for the spam, but Chris J playing the mind games. Glaive, you want to try and outsmart me? Good luck, my friend. That second tap has baited Chris in. And sadly, it's too little, too late. The Glaive gonna grab the defuse. The Didn't have a kit two. either. That's such a shame, man. If, if Chris J had just really committed, and that's the thing, right? Yeah. It's easy to say that. <laughs> oh, well, he should have just not gone through the smoke. But, <laughs> like, you know, that's the thing, man. Like, you feel like that was so doable, but it's the double tap, right? It's the second time around. You can't chance it. You don't know that Glaive doesn't have the kit. So this time it's Astralis clutching out around. And, and I think, Probably one of my my favorite attributes of working with, you know, you two folks and a plethora of other from the UK, as we'll call it, or... Yeah, that works. Whatever, the, that island over there or whatever, is when you mock each other in your own mock voices. Of with course. Your own mock man. accents. Yeah, I hate Britain. <laughs> I'll just come right out and say yeah, Well, you know, that's not where I was steering it, so to say, <laughs> but... Uh, all right, oh, that's Harry yeah. Dusseldorf. He'll, of course... Well, specifically... Here. England, you know, if you want to be like yeah. very exact about it, the other the, our neighbors are pretty cool, actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah you right. think you want to clear the air on them about while we're here? I mean, you might as well. <laughs> I know, man. I'm Grief. good. I'm good. Fair Still enough. weapons for mouse sports, and uh, while your neighbors might be cool, Mister Robin Cool and Company need to come up big time here. This would be a round to respond with. Yeah, nearly a two on four one by mouse sports. How many more clutches have they got in store? Will Astralis finally? Be the Goliath and close it out. That's not how that story went, but it's how it probably should have gone. So Goliath wins against David. In a reality like this, probably, but right now it's Chris spamming smokes and Glaive's going to go down early. Device holding the cross, main smoke down, but he is in the back of the garage and he is really hiding, playing it tight, avoiding the flashes and going back for the fight. We've already crossed past him. Second flash is great. S tags in hell, but he smoked off as well. Device, he could drop the bomb here. Carrigan's alone outside, but he's going to okay. hit an absolute banger of a shot. Jumping up. S tags here. He just climbed the ladder. Is he ready for this one? There's two players coming in. He's just crept out onto the rafters, but they have his number. The player on the site is not looking up. No one's even considering oh, how dear. deep mouse sports, mouse sports could be, but they're taking their time. And with this time being taken, Astralis might look elsewhere. Too late. s -Tag gets pinched. Dupree on the site, helped out by Magis, oh. who will drop the bomb coming through main. It's a clutch back for Astralis, perhaps, but now it's on to Dupree at the back of the site, one-on-one. -on -one. The bomb on rocks. He can go right down the vents and play the mind games if he wants. Oh, Dupree, you're not in the hop. Ah! Oh, oh, and he thought he had. He thought Rops went down because surely, why wouldn't you? You had the charts, you had the bomb, you're by the vent, you have Dupree yeah. behind. And not to mention, Dupree then finds out after that whole like four second period of being flashed, like, Standing there. I wasn't even in the hut. So surely he's not coming A, right? Surely he's dropped. And then there, the sad reality sets in. Mouse Sports, Ted on the board, they're getting pumped. Carrigan got his arms in the air and Dupree has his head Ooh. in his hands. It's a real parallel or a real, I guess, uh, what's the word for opposite? What's the smart word for opposite? Someone help me out here. And then I like, juxtaposition between the two yeah. of them. There you go. I'm the smartest guy in the room. I had to help myself. <laughs> <laughs> help yourself to a double yeah, dosage. All often at the premise of that one, aren't we? That's a big joke. Yeah, big joke. There's nothing joking about this round. Pistols for Astralis. Mouse Sports in the meanwhile do pick up that last round, and that's going to help them exponentially. 12 to 10 the score. We are close, ladies and gentlemen. We are close. Oh, S tag, he fires too soon and Rops finds his head. Glaive tries to chase Carrigan down, but he won't be able to. Carrigan, oh boy, maybe he will. It's close, but no cigar. Glaive looking to find him. Dupree's already dropped Rops. Carrigan does deal with a flank and now down in B. Mouseboards already have real estate. The bomb yet to join and both CTs here. There's a gap in the smoke and there's a break in the window. Does the vice go through? Plant allowed. Magis spamming. Both windows broken now. Device is waiting for that smoke to fade. And Magis is holding on for Carrigan, who he knows was in A or near about. Outlook are not coming in and not giving away any opportunity to Astralis in this round. Device is still patiently waiting. He could take down Frozen, whose head is exposed, but Device not peeking out wide enough to get him. Well, reload that reload sound. In. Yeah. Yeah, he, he definitely knows. heard that. Oh, oh, device just getting teased about Frozen. Oh, there's the double peak. BMAS decides it's been quiet in window for too long. 
And Magisk, yeah, you've opened the door, but the door is well and truly closed on the round, mate. <laughs> you can try and do whatever you want with only the Deegan armor. It's 11 on the board for Maus, oh, and my boy. goodness, what a game this has shaped up to be. It was 11-4 at the half. I was like, well, I mean, you were on the phone to League Ops trying to just bring in the third map. Yeah. That's the extent we were at. I mean, that was kind of the extremes that we went to, and then you look at it now, and it's like, okay, well, I, you know, Mouse Sports, I'm sorry, Harry. You can see why they said it had to be played on. Yeah, Harry, you know, you doubted them, and then here they are. I mean, Mouse I sports. never, I came into the day very, very confident that uh, Mouse were going to uh, do yeah, something. I, I think that's exactly what you said. Also, I think that's what you picked. Well, we'll let the prediction graphics speak for themselves. Rob's dead through this smoke. He tries to run out A and look for an opener. Dupree is ready for it. He has been on the receiving end. Some batterings, but this time he's <laughs> dishing out the servings. Oh. Two for him. And that is not how you want to start the round if you're mouse sports. Oh, no. That's a bit of a shame, right? Two players both missed the vent, one after each other. It's a risky play. It's a bold one. Sometimes I feel it helps if you flash your teammates and then try to run out the squeaky door. Yeah, you know, they're just trying to do it on pace and it's like, you know, you're trying to find something very small in some unknown, unexplored territory and that's always a challenge for everyone, so. I don't know about you, Harry, but every single time I play the game, I tell my teammates that the other team's low, even when they're not. Oh, that, I know, Chase, I know you do that. Just to give them that confidence. Yeah, you know, man, like, it's so a like, really fight. confident building when I peek a guy with a USP, he's low, he's <laughs> low, and then it's like, oh, well, he's... Dupree he's over there. here up on top of the hut. And oh my goodness, they are low now. And it's all on the back of Dupree. 13 on the board for Astralis. And an attempt at a vent drop that should have been left on the sidelines because they get railroaded in that round there. Yeah, Dupree gets basically two free kills. Look at these. Carrigan and Robs both caught in the smoke, both flashed out. Both unable to see anything but the uh, fate of black. As Astralis, they fight back and they take a 13th. Not going down without a fight. Is Mouse Sports' comeback on all these clutches in vain? Let us remind you that Astralis on a win streak here. Four in the map of Nuke, that is. So if somehow, some way, Mouse Sports will even Gaben. And there's still a chance. Ooh. Look at this sneaky snake Ooh. stuff. We're going to have to go down here, guys, but it's going to be an interesting path. Oh, they just jumped. Device is here, though. They're on the right side. He's going to back up, and they hear the footsteps. They know someone has retreated, but if they go back up, it's into the Feast of Glaive. He's hungry for more. Now back towards hell. Only with a rifle. These AKs are going to outwit right. him quickly, and BMAS with a quick shot does drop him. They know that one was B, and so that leaves A up for the taking. Device coming up from the behind. Rops is holding with the AWP. He's taking this over Carrigan in this round and for good reason, finding that kill. And S-Tag dropping BMAS below. Carrigan's already above, entering into the site. He just dodges death. He knows Dupree is now below in a Both players here. The info's there. They've got the kills and there's no waiting around for Mouse Sports. They pounce and they crunch that A site. 13 to 12. Every time Astralis get around, it is immediately responded by Mouse Sports. Back to back, reset rounds for Mouse Sports, not letting Astralis get comfortable. Man, this is this is really nice to see. Like I'll be honest, you know, even though okay, like I keep joking about it, but we did pick Astralis to win this, and you, you guys know Astralis you to guys, win this. We, we picked Mouse Sports. No, we all did, right? Both you guys, Sports. we were no. going on for so yeah, long. We, about oh, how this come on now. No, come on now. No, right. So <laughs> we all picked Astralis, but I, you know, you guys know I'm a huge Mouse fan, yeah. and and my word, yeah, like I'm very very happy that with this new squad, with the changes that have been made, they're putting on a good face. Versus Versus Astralis, who have looked really, really good here in the yeah. Pro League. And you know, Harry, I'm just going to be blunt with you here. You just seem like a little bit of a Kerrigan fanboy. I am a Kerrigan fanboy. That's like why. not anybody else on the team. You just like Kerrigan. Like, maybe. No, dude, I love the, the whole team. There. Oh, the fade. They just get down. Man, Mouse Sports just time this. Them. They're so oh, too gross. Close. They're so slimy. And that's why you got to love Carrigan. There's no one who calls a slimier, grosser version of CS than Carrigan, man. This guy, ugh, he just leaves a... Ugh, yeah, I just hate it. Just but leaves a love it in your mouth. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, man. You can feel it. You can feel the calls. And look at him. Look at Carrigan. He's looking for a bit more. Now, he Dead. probably isn't ready for Glaive. So, yeah, hyping him up. There he is. Get in the back, of course, here. Now a sports in a four on five. As now they oh, yes. seep their way down into this lower site. 
It's like anything that Harry says turns to complete and utter. The opposite is yeah, what I was yeah. going for there. Not any other, you know, words to use to describe that. Let's tag on Solo B here. He's going to lock it down too with the bomb drop. He's going in for more than pre-fire on the feet. Oh dear, b -Mass needs new shoes after that one. Astralis, they're sending Rops for the save. And okay, just when you think Mal Sports might have a grip back on things, they lose their in-game leader outside and four more fall through the doors to only one man. And this is why Hugo and I picked Astralis yeah. right to begin yeah. with. I mean, it's, it's pretty blatantly apparent why. Pretty clear. And Harry, having picked Mal Sports, you know, at some point in your life, you're going to have to eat your words. This might be one of those days. Yeah, the money's not there. The it won't be part. today, man. It won't be. Harry, you are realizing Mal Sports are broke up against 14 right now. I they realize do. it, mate. I realize yeah. it. But, you know, I look and I see. Optimism? No, uh, uh, Optimus Prime actually was who. Oh. I, yeah, yeah. But no, man, I see Robs. And yeah, he looks frustrated. But I see the fans. And I see them. And these are Astralis fans, so get them off my screen because that doesn't fit the, hey, the you story cool I'm peddling. That guy's got a Deadpool mask on sitting in the dark with a, an Astralis jersey. So color theme checks out, and you can check out the ESL.gg slash fan cam, which is exactly where you need to go to end up over there with the rest of those folks. It's one word. Folks? Yeah. Okay, let me try that again. Wildlings, crazy, Looney Tunish, almost up there on... Borderline cosplay in some regards. But all still loved and all still welcome. We're going to go to a timeout here and see what happens. Mouse Sports going to call for it. Hugo, you big into cosplay? No. Should we get you cosplaying on the desk? Dude, that would be cool. Let's, I already answered that, didn't I? Let's get... Well, you just said you're not big into it, but that doesn't mean you can't become Yeah, we can start you off yeah. in there, you know. Dude, I will fund the costume. Harry, I know you will. You've bought many a clothes for me. I actually have. Against my will, sometimes, often. Grace, you actually bought me boxes that one time. Thank you for that. That was a bit of an act. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're one. wearing the exact same, but in your size I, this time no, around. No, I didn't yeah, want us guys... to match or anything. I just kind of... Yeah. Your one's a blue. I got a very good view when you were doing your lying down on the desk bit. Okay. Trace has one leg in <laughs> one. Harry has his other leg in the other. You know, you and just share it. We're both just Siamese. out. Siamese. <laughs> <laughs> It's Whoa. like a potato sack race. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. I thought you were going to say it's like a potato salad. I was like, that's just... No, I don't even want to imagine what that is. Salad's now not to be discussed on stream, <laughs> but, of course, when we look at Astralis and Mouse Sports, this, this is where Mouse Sports need to take a stand. Oh, no. find some kills here. Kerrigan misses a shot. You can tell a little bit of wiggle there. Yeah, I like the confident run yard after a pause, right? Last thing Astralis were expecting. No oh, smokes like to give that. it away. High flash device playing the one way. We see more and more people doing this as of late. Ooh. There's already a cross into garage. He realizes. Uh. Oh, does he? Back and uh. forth. And then back again is Carrigan with the opening kill, taking down the orb of Astralis. Oh, S tag swinging. Rops has a Galil, and he out duels an AK. That should not be happening. It's Mouse Sports with a five on three with access to B. Look, and Glaive is already there. Look at Chris, man. Look at how fast he's in heaven. Astralis is still worried about main split mate it's not main you need to be worried about it's chris j coming in through the heavens and main as it turns out carrigan gonna nail Dupree through that angle up comes the rotation into ramp and while glaive does get the better of rops it's still a 2v4 that astralis have got to pull out of absolutely nowhere to somehow find this round but they look keen they look like they want to go chris. for it and they might see chris who's like just taking oh. a stroll at this moment in time up on the rafters frozen does bail him out of danger chris wipes the sweat off his brain and he wants to get rid of that Galil because it's disgusting. Glaive going to have to hold on to the M4. Mouse Sports 13. Oh, boy. This is getting so damn close. We oh promised my. you all a good series. And boy, oh, boy, is it delivering. This, like, you couldn't predict this if you tried. 14 to 13. Who knows where this is going? Astralis are broken now, but Mouse Sports just did it with nothing as well. They had a low buy. They were relying on a Deagle, a Galil. They had the AWP. And thank Carrigan for getting those openers. Dupree and Device dead. Thanks to the AWP of Mouse Sports. Even though Rops has wielded that at times, it's Carrigan manhandling it back and showing us what he can do. And let's let's talk about some of that handling of a situation right here because it does look like we're gonna be going to a quick pause. You guys all understand how intense these situations are. All the pog champs are out, all the Bible thumps too. And everybody's really crying because they don't really know what to do in this situation. Chris J, one of those. You could tell right there. He gave us the finger guns. Then wasn't sure if he was still on camera. So, like, I get that. I sympathize with that. I do it all the time. 
But we are waiting for a player to reconnect a little bit of a PC restart. So let's just get back to the, the meaty details right here. Let's just really look at it, Hugo, and kind of not really berate Harry, but kind of just like tear him down a little bit verbally. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I don't think I can right now because wait, what was his prediction again? I don't even know. He predicted Mouse Force 110 percent. 110 percent. Well, actually, I know, I'm sorry to say he might be right right now. Like they are down around, but Astralis have broken down money wise. But you know how he panders, so he also predicted Astralis. Yeah, well, it's good. Harry Harry likes to play both sides so that he always oh, comes out on top, and I respect the strategy. It's a go-to move. The issue is you shouldn't tell both sides that you're playing both sides because now I'm just not going to give you. Oh, any dude, don't worry. I didn't. <clears throat> I didn't tell like you didn't tell big I didn't tell Magisk or Mouse like Wars. I didn't tell Magisk I didn't tell uh Carrigan so I I haven't told anyone okay well they'll they'll hear this they'll watch this back they'll oh. find out yeah surely they watch back with a commentary on if I had to think of you. in that case hi guys hey hey guys hey Magisk hey Glaive hey Carrigan how you guys doing just want to say I'm a big fan of all three of yours work no one else uh the rest of the guys yeah I'm sure they're good too and yes, that is, uh, what, what's your name again? Harry Russell. That's he has won the, the challenge here. He's won the giveaway, which is be on stream for one day. <laughs> nice, man. Look at that. There's a terrifying bunny creature down. Like oh, it's that. not a bunny. It's like a, it's like a cow. I think it's a cow. And then what else we got? This guy on his phone. Hey, man, play atta pay, pay attention, rather. The ukuleles out. We got a dead mouse mask. Oh, we're always swapping between them too fast now for my eyes Look to be able to Everybody's a musician. 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 <laughs> <laughs> dead mouse in the bottom. Ah, yes, dead mouse now. Oh, man, I know he's a big fan, so I'm glad that we got him tuning in. Um, does keep DMing me to to hang out, and I'm oh, just does he? that. Yeah, man, me and dead mouse, we go way back. I remember, I think it was like 02, me and him were hanging out. 02 now, Harry was four years old. Yeah, man, yeah, it was a lot of controversy around it when it happened, but like, you know, we just go way <laughs> back. Interesting. <laughs> you know, I did go to... Uh, I did go to an esports party one time that Mouse Sports played at. Okay. And it was it was kind of cool. I can't quite remember the event. Oh, nice. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't. Yeah, you know, I don't necessarily want to say who the party was by or any of that. But yeah. it, was, it was really cool. And then you get like, it, you Trace. Know, you're cool. You go to parties. You listen, don't invite us. We get it. Okay, I just. Man? I know pros by first name, and you guys, <laughs> y'all are pathetic. Oh. Um. Well, how do we pick it up from here? I'll tell you how we pick it up from here. We turn to Harry and we look for answers. Oh, Because we know that Harry, being the centerpiece, the focal point of the desk. Wow. We know that he is going to have things figured out to a T. I have so much figured out, man. I've got this whole ordeal figured out. So first of all, I'm going to catch you all up. If you are just tuning in, this is what you've missed. It was a crazy dominant first half, 12 to three in the favor of Astralis. It felt like there was no way this could, oh, sorry, 11 to four. I gave him too much credit. Yeah, 11 to four. But it was like 11 to four to Astralis. There was no way that Mouse can pull this back, right? That's what all the naysayers were saying. What do the naysayers even know, man? They're always saying nay to things that others are saying. Hey, well, is, now, hey. now, Mouse Sports, 13 to 14. They are one away from tying this up versus the Danes on the other side. The big Danes. Danes, not little Danes, not 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 people from the vague area that is Scandinavia. The you know, Great Danes. These are the Great Danes of Oof. CS. And over on the other side, it's just a little mouse sports. But they're still here. They're still looking good. They're still fighting. And now they're one away from tying things up in this second map. This is Astralis's map pick. This is their home map. And Mouse, they're taking it the distance. We're getting back into it with just 12 seconds now. 11, 10 on that freeze time rolling away. We're going to see if Mouse Sports can put this one away. This is a pretty big round right here, all things considered. Astralis money through the bin, the proverbial bin, as we call it. Even the digital one, if you want to call it that. 14-13, Mouse Sports with a real chance to grab this game by the horns. Back to the door for Carrigan. The Molly again. It's spreading. It's burning. And he's has, he has to escape down to 20. Oh, dear. Not the start you want, but at least it's on the orpa of all the players. This is a decent buy for Astralis. A little more than we assume they'd have. The Orpon device as well. Down B is S tag. Bit of a move here for Astralis with device taking ramp with the AWP. S tag died in the last round in that position. Two ROPs, so doesn't want to repeat that. 
waiting for Mousepuss to drop lower. Ooh, spam is close. Glaive is in the back of Garage. Carrigan fell to him crossing main. Last time Mouseports went for that B play through Secret. And so Astralis planning for those contingencies once again. Device comes outside to assist. Late smokes, four mouths. Notice only two players actually sitting outside with that utility crossing or feigning across. We'll have to wait and see. It's not default smokes. It's one towards main, and they start to put the pressure on. Glaive cut off by util. He can't see. He can't stop them. But he can calm that they could be here. Device with one, dropping Carrigan in through main, and the A hit comes through. Oh, but Glaive is dealt with frozen. No, for Mouse Sports, it might all fall apart here. Up against 14. We're looking at Rops. We're looking at Chris J. And we're thinking, well, can Rops navigate this one alone? 1v4, Astralis towing the line between map point. And only one man separates them from it. It's Rops. They know where he is. They know that he was in the hut. And I think he got spotted there by Magisk on the jiggle. There's 15 seconds and Rops is sending up the ladder. Doesn't scream, I'm going for this round. And so he's just going to try and hold on to the AK. Astralis, they get 15. They get map point. They look to take us to Inferno where all good series go to end. And now we see Mouse Sports was this entire run from 11 4 down all the way to 13 rounds. Was it for nothing? Is this the end of the journey here on Nuke? Do we have to look to the next chapter of Inferno to get some answers? Yes. Or does this get bought to overtime? Oh. I thought you wanted to know. I was just... <laughs> oh, sorry about it. It's an innocent mistake to make. But if you remember, all my questions are automated, so I provide the answers. Automated. <laughs> well, that's Harry Russell. You can find him at just Harry at stunner.gg. Oh, nice. Yeah. Blave, he's pushed outside, man. We've not seen him aggressive in many of these rounds, and so this could be something that Mouse Sports don't plan for. Beamass is checking it, but Glaive only gets the dink. The M4 strikes back, and Mouse with the opening kill. 8 HP on Beamass through main. The flash is good, and Chris has got another. Oh no, Mouse Sports are clearing out this A site. They're running him down, and it's only two up for Astralis. They might have to save. They're going up against the idea of OT right now. Oh, it's a save. They may have locked in map point. It's certainly not match point for the Danes who lost on Mouse Sports' pick of Dust 2, but this could all be going to bonus. And then maybe even a third. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. This one is guaranteed to be a 14th for Mouse. Yeah, and you could just... In those overtimes, you know, it's, it's like extra innings in baseball. It can keep on going and I going. I do really like that Maus are taking the time to hunt these players down because the money for Astralis is absolutely in a, in a just a, a really rough spot. And so if you even take one of these guns away, you go into that next round up against a very, very poor buy on the other side. It looks like they've escaped unscathed for now. It's worth noting, we said this earlier, it still holds true. Uh, obviously, 11 4 half for Astralis, and now they're at 15, they found four in the CT side. They have never found back to back rounds. So you talk about the money being bad, and there's the reason why. These last six rounds have been Miles Astralis, Miles Astralis, Miles Astralis, and then Miles before that. So, yeah, there's been no safety, no sanctuary, no rounds where you're up against a low buy. If you're against a low buy, it's a full buy. It's everything the Miles Balls can do, and they put it all in. They put it in to get to this point to fight up against 15 and the fast play into A that was denied in the last does do the damage this time around. Astralis, they've got to work out the buy and they've got to work it out now. Orp's still here, it was saved. Carrigan, Robs, Chris, they don't have one either. So, Vice has open season with his AWP. S-Tag's got the Orc. Does he take it ramp or garage? Imagines on the auto shocker. I'm all for it. But this is it, it's crunch time. This is it. All that effort, all that grinding, all these rounds, all the clutches, all the great man disadvantages boil down to this. Do we go to Inferno or does Nuke carry on? These are the questions we need well answered. Device gonna hide down in the vent early, takes the AWP there, looking to go for a secret peek. 
And the outside smoke's going in, but mouse ports don't look to use them. And that's where Device's position now is so damn important. He is mollied off, and so he doesn't get vision right away. But the moment he looks up, he is going to come to the realization that Mouse are not outside and that this play is happening elsewhere. Magis holding close with an auto shotgun, ready and raring to go. The ramp push comes oh. in, and S Tag mops it up with a double. Dupree follows up, and it might all be for naught for Mouse, as now it's only frozen, left alive. 1v5, an absolute nowhere to go nowhere is safe what does he even do they pressure him now they know where he is things have gotten even worse for frozen in the blink of an eye oh dear mouse sports they tried so hard and they got so far but in the end it doesn't even matter astralis take this second